Hello, this is Commander Rusty Dog, and you join me um, still at Jewelry Terminal, um, which I believe is where I was when we finished the last video. Um, and I've been doing a little bit more trading today. Um, not too much, just a couple of hours worth because I wanted to... Uh, I had a goal in mind, uh, credit-wise, that I wanted to be at. Um, because I have decided what I'm going to do now and it's going to be the Anaconda refit <coughs> um, with the Corvette being put on the back burner only until 2.1 by which time I will get rid of the Anaconda and replace it with the Corvette um, when 2.1 launches. Um, probably even while it's in uh, beta because while it's in beta I'll probably be able to pick up the ship for peanuts give it a good run around learn it and stuff like that if it gets blown up during the beta it's not going to cost me that's the thing I can't remember in the beta when the ships are really really cheap does that then keep the insurance down as well like if the ships are only 10% of their normal value, is the insurance only 10% of its normal value? Because if it is, then my plan is good. Because um, it means I can uh, piss about with the Corvette in the res zones and, you know, see how much she can take. <coughs> and if I push that too far and get myself killed... Yeah, it doesn't matter though, does it? Because it doesn't affect my, my main account. What am I talking about? Yeah, it doesn't affect the main account anyway. So I can do whatever, lose the ship, it doesn't matter. Um, get familiar with it, and then by the time 2.1 final is released, um, we sh I should be good to go. In the meantime, I'm going to be quite happy with a fairly decently rated Anaconda. And I currently have 11 minutes and 20 seconds before I have to stop this video, um, at least pause it, because my dinner's in the oven, <laughs> and I want to eat something. Okay, so let's take a look at where we are, um, apart from the fact that we're in Jewelry Terminal. Is this a nice place to be? Well, the jewelry's out on that one. <coughs> yeah, um, so, uh, popping into the panel here, by my balance, you can would probably been able to tell that I was going for the Anaconda refit because I said it was going to cost me 154, 155 million. Probably going to be a work out a bit less than that because I'm going to be selling and replacing bits uh, modules on the Anaconda, so I won't be having to pay full price. So I think if I fit it out properly and it all goes to plan, I should remain with. 600 million in the balance um, I'll have my maxed out cutter and I'll have my pretty well specced Anaconda um, the only thing with the Anaconda is it will have I think it's the one I've specced has got the bi-weave shields I'll see how they go um, and then I would like the Anaconda to earn its full shields if that makes sense. So if I decide I, I want to put the full shields on, um, I want the Anaconda to go out and earn that money so it can pay for itself, like the cutter just did. Um, the cutter's paid for itself and more. It's I'm, you know, it's added about another 20 million on from the balance. But if you count money up have to spend in repairs and fuel and stuff it's going to be a little bit more than that so just over 20 million the cutters in profit now because um, it's made its cost back or I've made its cost back to be more accurate so I just want to have a good look at this allied 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 neutral 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 Okay, so I haven't been in I haven't been in um, Yanistani for too long. 
but I'm doing okay there. So I'll quickly show you um, how my trading has affected my stats. I'll just quickly show them. I'm not going to run them down again because it's too too much. So yeah, the current assets uh, is that one three seven eight three one one two one six, and nothing else really has altered there, or apart from credit spent on fuel and repairs. <coughs> um, oh, wrong key. So let's come down to trading. I don't know what the market network figure is, to be honest. Um, the only thing to note here is the average profit in my trade, which has just gone over um, half a million. Um, and that sits nicely with my bank balance sitting at three quarters of a billion. So um, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, just pop out here. So we're going to, and it's brilliant because this morning I've been back and forwards a few times and not once have I had to pay for any repairs. So now that I've said that, so uh, I think I might have left this a bit late. I've got seven minutes and 15 seconds to get to Shinrata Desert and it's five jumps away. So yeah, once my, uh, once my iPhone starts beeping at me to tell me that my dinner is now cooked, I am going to be pausing this video, so it could happen any time. So this morning, um, like I said, doing a bit more uh, slave trading, um, but you know, they're all going to good homes, it's nothing uh, nothing bad. It's kind of like a galactic refugee crisis, if you like. So this morning, um, I was interdicted by <laughs> an elite anaconda who wanted my cargo. This is the first time... Oh no, okay, no, no, forget that. Yeah, he wanted my cargo and... Uh, Frameshift drive charging. <laughs> I wasn't carrying any. I want all of your tasty cargo, he said. And then he opened fire. And I thought, well, why don't you scan me first and realize I haven't got any. So that's another AI thing I hope that gets fixed in 2.1. You know, if you're going to interdict me, scan me. I think it's because I'm, I'm in a cutter. It's the same as when I'm approaching a station. I'm getting scanned every time because it is a cutter. It is a massive trade ship and so Friendship what's happening is that you know, you know you're more open to to being scanned and especially I found out if I leave the station quickly um, if I leave there was one time I left it I left the station under the speed limit stayed under the speed limit and I didn't get scanned maybe they think if you rush out of the station really quickly you've got something to hide and so they scan you. That's that looks like uh, what might be happening. But uh, yeah, the the anaconda. I was able to obviously uh, outboost it, so I was out of weapons range in a very very short space of time. Uh, he never caused me any damage, uh, even though he tried to fire at me. And um, drive charging. That was that. Mm. And that was pretty much the most exciting thing that's happened this morning. Well, I said this morning, this afternoon. So I thought I'd um, bring you on the journey back to Shinrata while we pick up the Anaconda, refit it, take it out to Timbalderis and stick it in a Let's stick it in a high res first, see how I, I go with it, and then if I feel up to it, um, I'll put it into a, the hazardous drive res charging. site, which orbits the third planet, I believe.
three jumps and three minutes and 40 seconds. It can be done. I can get to Shinrata by then, but uh, whether I can dock it by then is another matter. I'll just have to pretend I'm running out of oxygen or something. So, in the blue zone until the gyroscope dock goes fully blue and then back into full speed. Ah. Frame shift drive charging. <coughs> as long as I'm under 60 or 65% heat, I will ignite the jump drive. Evans hope. And now I know I'm close to home. So yeah, the uh, the shieldless D-rated cutter has done itself really proud, actually. Some people might think, ah, get some shields on that thing. Frame shift drive but, charging. Nah, it's been okay. I may have to pop shields on it in t in 2.1. I don't know how the AI is going to be. I'll have to analyze the AI there. But for now, in 1.5, yeah. it's because I just had 1.6 in my head when I said 2.1. Um, yeah, but now in, in version 2, I'm just going to be running shieldless if I ever use the cutter again. Okay, now I know I should have planned this in advance, but it won't take me more than a second. Did I just find something out there? Can you just double tap to, to lock the destination? That's a new one. Right, I'm facing the station, so I'm going to I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to go to here and lock that destination. I'm going to go to Jameson, just double tap. Yeah, you can, because it goes into the menu. So just tap tap. Don't have to wait for the menu to come up. Well, that's cool. Learn something new every day. Just double tap what you want to lock. And the timer is on. 59 seconds. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'll dock and then I'll go and pick up the, the, the grub. I hope I don't come into this uh, facing the station at too much of an obtuse or weird angle. Oh god, there's so much clutter on the screen sometimes. I want to see a particular orbit line and there's so much clutter, particularly when I was going into that uh, Yanistrani dock, uh, Yanistrani system delivering the slaves. Uh, there's just so many orbit lines on the screen at the same time. Stand by for the beeps. With my iPhone. Go! Oh. Okay, so dinner's ready. So I'm going to get this thing docked and then I will pause. So I'm just going to boost until I get under six kilometers and then kill the throttle now and then request a docking, docking request that's the new order of my doing things because that way I know I'm within seven five kilometers and before I was requesting the docking first and on a couple of occasions I did it outside of the 7.5 kilometer range and I didn't get any vocal feedback saying uh, <coughs> docking permission denied so I hadn't realised that it was denied and then I was approaching the station and then being told you can't come in. So I'm avoiding that. Okay. Landing gear deployed. Dogging successful. Engines Dogging successful. I'm I'm convinced that's what she's saying now and now I now I've I heard that once. 
a couple of days ago, dogging successful and dogging request granted. I can't get it out of my bloody head. Right then, I will be back when my uh, stomach is a little bit more full and we'll have a look at the anaconda. Okay, I am back and uh, let's get this done. I'm just going to pop in here. I just need to take a quick look at the balance here. I've just been uh, looking at my Anaconda budget build. and I only call it a budget build because I don't have um, the full shield generator on there and a A-rated power plant. Um, or A-rated sensors, but I don't think the sensors are a big issue. That's all. Otherwise, I think um, if I'd gone all out, um, I would have had pretty much the same the, the, the same uh, refit. So, <coughs> um, where are we here? Credit spent on ships isn't going to change. Credit spent on outfitting is going to change. Um, that's not going to pop into a billion yet. Not for quite a long time, thankfully. Um, right then. Let's do it. Let's drop this 754 million all the way down to around 600, I'm guessing. Uh, should be pretty much 600 bang on the nose or a little bit more. I don't see it dropping under, but if it does, I'm about to make that back up um, when I take the ship out. So, <coughs> should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's repair what we got here, get it all ready for next time we use it. Ooh, that's dropped my credits down. Okay, so shipyard. And I only have five ships. Ah, yes, <coughs> I forgot to mention. The clipper is gone, as is the um, Imperial Eagle. The clipper is gone because uh, I don't have a use for it really. I'm not using it for combat. I've got other ships for that. Um, and I don't like the I don't like the weapons convergence on the clipper anyway. Um, I do like the sound of, of the engines though, but that's not enough to keep it. <coughs> um, what else? Yes, the Imperial Eagle. Um, I. I flew it down to a system uh, about a hundred and something light years away and it only had a small jump drive on it and I just I couldn't be bothered to bring it back so I took the ASP down there which only took a few jumps and then just uh, sold the Eagle and brought the ASP back so those ships are gone so um, I've now only got six ships in my fleet where I would have had eight with the cutter. So, yeah, the five here, I've got my Cobra, my Vulture, my Asp, my Anaconda, and my Python, and the cutter, of course. So let's take the uh, Anaconda. And the value is not what I said it was. <coughs> I said it was 155. Where did I get that from? What's the Python worth? Where did I dream up 155 then? Alright, well this could shake the figures up a bit. I might drop under 600 then. I might drop under 600 million, but it's not going to make a difference because if it does, it gives me something to aim for in combat. E. Hmm. Actually... Yeah, it might... I don't know. Let's... I don't know how it's going to work out. Um, so let's just see what happens. <coughs> it's not going to make that much of a difference. Now, I believe my anaconda is currently white. 
with black bits. I thought I'd give it a, a it's got more of an imperial look to it, as if the anaconda's been stolen by the Empire and repainted to their colours, I don't know. You don't see too many white anacondas around, so I thought uh, I'd give it a go. So, okay, into outfitting we go. <coughs> and we're going to be knocking off a few things, because I didn't realise on my uh, on my outfitting uh, in Coriolis that I showed on my last video that some of these pulse lasers were turreted, but gimbaled is cheaper anyway. So we're going to be switching these to gimbaled. Um, <coughs> right, let's do this right now then. So, hard points. Uh, now, this is a fixed cannon. Um, I think the reason I got it fixed is because of where it's placed underneath. Gimbaled I don't know how much use you can make of it because you have to kind of from the looks of it you have to pull the nose of the ship up in order for the gimbling to do anything and it can't really point upwards too much <coughs> and although on my loadout on in Coriolis I do have it gimbled I'm going to just switch it to fixed and see if that alters the price. Yeah, it brings it down by 2 million. Uh, fixed is cheaper by 2 million. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to stick with fixed for now and see how I go. And it's possible I might change it for a multi-cannon or, a, or even, a, even a gimbal laser at some point. Uh, what I want to look at now is the placement of these weapons. Because I know some of these, <coughs> like these ones you see, they're a bit weird. Um, and the anaconda is probably vulnerable from behind without some kind of turreted weapon. But I have seen a build, a combat build of an anaconda from another player. And he's got like uh, two or three, possibly more, hard points empty. And I think, well, why would, you, why would you miss out? Why would you not fill a hard point? Um, and I think he basically said that it's, you know, you, like if I filled all this with pulse lasers, which I'm going to do, and put them all onto the same um, fire group, that you can't really fire them all and they won't all hit the ship at the same time. Some of them won't fire because they're not, it's just because of the placement of the lasers. They won't all, it's not like the cutter where they're like in a star formation. So if I fire one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pulse lasers, if I put seven pulse lasers on a fire group and just hit the trigger, <coughs> um, the only time possibly that all seven will be able to fire and hit is if the ship is exactly in front of you. Um, so these are things I'm going to test out. Uh, let's put this into class descending. <coughs> These are things I'm going to be testing out. Hold on a second, let me just take a look at this. Medium, medium, medium. Two mediums, two smalls. So, yeah, these are things I'm going to be testing out in the field, which is why I, I wanted to go into... Oh, screw this. Which is why I wanted to go into... Um, A, re a resource extraction site that had security, like a high one or a, a low one or something, just to see how things go. I wish you could just like drag something down here so just duplicate. Uh, buy and equip. So we're going to be going for the same thing, F2 pulse. Or hold shift and drag to duplicate and drag to move and for what these are worth probably better using mul small multi cannons here maybe they've got a bit more power <coughs> let me just take a look if I change one of my pulse lasers to multi cannons in Coriolis does my DPS go up or down 
Oh, it does it stay the same. Wow, it goes up. Uh, does it? Hold on, that was not a proper test. Give me a second. Mm, no, 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 no. It's just that my DPS has gone up to 29 now. Okay, so let's buy these. How this is going to work in the field, I really don't know. So this is probably not going to be my final refit. If I find that the weapons... What am I doing here? If I find that my weapons are all are not all firing at the same time and stuff like that, so... Hmm. This is kind of a test loadout in a way. <coughs> Okay, so we've got the hard points essentially done. Uh, now, we've got a chaff. I'm going to have the same things here, but I'm going to put them in a different order. For no particular reason other than it matches what I've got on Coriolis. So chaff launcher first, and then we're going to have a A-rated kill warrant scanner. So there's a million, goodbye. Um, let me just have a look. Kill warrant scanner. There, okay. <coughs> so we've got a kill warrant scanner, uh, which has got a range of four kilometers, which is pretty good. Now we have four shield boosters, so that means adding another one. A rated, of course. Is there any other way? So an A rated shield booster. And on the last two, that sounds like, you know when you deploy a heatsink and your sh windshield freezes over, windscreen freezes over? That's what that sounds like to me. So we're going to stick a couple of heatsink launchers on here. It's a toss up whether you want to have one heatsink launcher and two chaps, or vice versa, I think. <coughs> this is more of a... It has to be remembered, of course, this is more of a PvE uh, player versus environment build than it is player versus player. If it was PvP, um, I would probably rig this out a little bit differently to this. I would have... <coughs> I don't know, I'd probably... Well, I would remove the kill warrant scanner and replace it with another heatsink launcher, I would say. Yes, we'll sort out the fire groups afterwards. I didn't want to come out of outfitting, though. Okay, internal. <coughs> so, power plant. This is what we have right now. We've got a D7. Uh, that's going to change. We're going to be moving it up to... an... Uh, B8. Let's come all the way down here and spend 46 million. Bye-bye, <laughs> money. But this is what I did my trading for. Okay, thrusters are going from D6, and this was a pretty good trade ship, I'll tell you. They're going from D6 to A7, <coughs> so another 46 million. Oh. All that money, life support, I'm going to keep the same. Power distributor there is a D8, that's going to go A-class now, become an A8, another 24 million. Okay, sensors are staying at D8. Uh, fuel tank, obviously unchangeable. Um, in other words, well not unchangeable, but you can't, you can't uh, take it up. <coughs> right, this is where we're going to get our changes. So, first thing then, I'm going to put this in name ascending now. I want... I weave shield generators. What? Oh, I can't, can I? Let's remove this. Let's sell this. Um, look at this. It was a lot of cargo on this thing. 436. And I could have had another 32 there. Righty-ho. Uh, Bi-weaves then. 
So we're going with the uh, the biggest byways we can get, which are the C7s, 7 7.6 mil. Uh, next, uh, we're looking at even though these are, are class six slots, we're going to be just putting in um, three hull reinforcement packages. Mm. Wow, hull reinforcement! And what are we looking for here? D5. So this is going to cost me almost one and a half million. But look, I'm selling the cargo rack, so it's it's barely going to change. Lovely. Uh, let's see if we can come down with this. Well, we can come down with this. So there's no reason for me to say, let's see if we can. I know it's going to work. Uh, okay, another one. I'll give you the figures of what this ship's going to end up like, according to Coriolis, in terms of its damage and its hull and all that stuff. Uh, and it's armor and shields and stuff. Let me just get the build finished. So yeah, I'm only, it's only costing me an extra 100,000 there. This is why I said it might stay above 600 million. Uh, right, now here I'm going to add an extra fuel tank so I can get more jumps. Um, there is going to be a fuel scoop coming as well. So I need another I need another full blown fuel tank. C5, there we go. So this doubles this doubles the range of the fuel capacity from 32 to 64. Okay, lovely. After the fuel tank comes the fuel scoop which will obviously be A-rated. And according to this, the fuel scoop uh, will have a pickup rate of 577 kilograms per second. So I'll probably leave it at around 500 so my ship doesn't overheat. And the refuel time is 1 minute 50 seconds. So I'm expecting from an empty tank to be sitting for 2 minutes. Uh, but how many times do you fuel scoop from an empty tank in a combat ship? not very much. So we're looking for 5A or A5. Uh, I've gone right past it. There it is, 8 million. The last thing I need to do is go into a res zone and get myself killed now. Uh, okay, so after the field scoop... Ah! According to this, I have a shield cell bank. I didn't know I'd put one of those on. Now, the shield cell bank is going to be just a tester because I want to see when I engage, uh, when I engage, when I fire off a shield cell bank, just what it does. I want to see how much it recharges. I used to have a shield, the last time I used shield cell banks was on the Vulture and it was terrible you know you could your shields you might be down to your last half a shield and then you'd fire a shield cell bank and you'd barely see any difference you, it might have got it up to a full shield of one one shield ring and that was it um so hopefully an a5 shield cell bank will at least recoup one ring so of course the next thing i need is an interdictor so I'm going for an A class I've gone past haven't I there we go so there we go oh look at look at this look at the price of this compared to the uh, the money so A4 interdictor is that right yep yeah, it is Oh, look at that. <laughs> Have all my maths been correct? Probably not. Uh, okay, because we're not done yet. Right, so after the frame shift drive, I've got three more left. So the first one is a class 3 device going in a class 4 slot. 
And that is... I had to break a limpet controller, A3. 77,000. And another whole reinforcement package here. Um, what I've, this is one of the changes I made since the since I showed you the build in the last video. I took off the SRV, um, figuring that if I'm in combat, what the hell do I need an SRV for? Okay, and if I ever need one. Um, I'll just take this whole reinforcement package off and swap it over if I ever have the intention to go uh, planet side. And finally, and uh, now this is something I don't really need. I don't really need it, and it's this, the advanced discovery scanner. I don't need, need, need it. But I suppose I better have, have, have it. And that is the build. So, if I want... Uh, where are we now? If I want the full shields, the, the A7 shields, okay, then I have to fit an A8 power plant. Otherwise I've got no, I've got no power remaining. I've got no choice. Um, so, in order to buy both, the power plant A8 and an A7 shields, shield generator, will cost me another 142 million. Now, yes, you can see there, I can quite easily do that right now. But I want the ship to go out and earn some of that. Not all of it, but some of it. Um, and then, possibly, I'll farm some more credits either trading again or down at you know where hip 10716 and do some mission stacking base assaults in the python while the option of instant swapping is still available so I'm gonna take this off What does it say? Rust? Oh, just rusty. I haven't been in the Anaconda for a while. So I'm just going to remove these for now. Okay, so let's have a look in the modules because we need to do some um, we need to do some uh, power management here. So, basically cargo hatch I know it's in a different order here, but oh, cargo hatch on two, fine. Next thing on two is the fuel scoop, and the final thing is the interdictor. That should knock me under a hundred. It doesn't tell me though. I'm going to have to make it inactive to be sure. And yes, now I am sure. Where's the thing? I've missed it. Further down, is it? No. What about <sighs> cargo scoop interdictor? I'm looking for the scoop. There we go. So there we go, 98%. And now that I'm here, I want to have a look at how quick this boots up. So it is possible to um, have some more stuff on this ship, um, but it would mean. Um, taking the frameshift drive offline when the weapons are out. So let's say I'm running away now and uh, I want to boost and boost and boost to get away and then I want to frameshift out of there. So weapons get retracted and then the frameshift drive comes online and then it's this vital seconds that you need to wait before you can frameshift. What is that? Five, six seconds? Pfft. That could be vital. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
This is what my trade ship had. I wish there was a way to cancel all of this stuff. <sighs> Shit. Oh my god. It's not as bad as it looks, honestly. Uh, maybe it is. Alright, let's just do this. I want the first one to be like this and also the interdictor uh, can go on the same number one because you can't do interdictor and weapons at the same time it's impossible so they can both go on the same fire group um, then I'll have a fire group where I'm firing the biggest three lasers and the other, oh, the other, oh, the other ones are there but then I can't have the cannon, but I can have the interdictor. Then I can have one where, yep, it's the top three uh, heavy pulse lasers and the cannon, and then the bottom four pulse lasers and the cannon. I don't believe I need the rest, so let's just ditch that. Okay, and down here we want the interdictor on every single one. Now then. Here's another problem. The hatchbreaker limpet's going to have to go onto its own. I want to put that on the thing. I don't want to be firing the trigger for that one. Uh, and now it's on two. I still want some weapons available. So I want my three big weapons available. I don't need all four. All seven, sorry. Uh, so I switch over to my hatchbreaker limpet, fire that off, and then pop back into fire group one or two, three or four. I just want some weapons available while the hatchbreaker limpet gets fired off. And of course, frame shift interdictor on that as well. Even though I won't be using it in combat, obviously. I just want them there. Now then. Shield cell bank, heat sink and chaff. I don't need to put here. And I don't want to put there. Especially the heat sink launchers because there's two of them. So if I do that and that, it's going to fire two off at the same time. So I prefer to control chaffs, heats and shield cells with my keys. So I do that. So now... I'm going to put one final one, which is the kill warrant scanner. Oh, sugar. If I have the advanced discovery scanner on the same thing, that means while I'm kill warrant scanning, I've got no weapons. So I can't believe how many fire groups I've got here. This is just ridiculous. And the discovery scanner can go on its own. I don't have a key for that. Seven fire groups. How the hell am I going to remember that? <coughs> okay. So quite simply then, fire group one is all the lasers and the cannon. Fire group two is all the lasers but split. Fire group three is the big lasers and the cannon. Fire group four is the smaller lasers and the cannon. And then we're basically looking at hatchbreaker, um, kill warrant scanner with weapons. So I've only got really four fire groups in terms of fighting with. And then these are incidentals because they'll be getting used um, as part of combat. And finally, an advanced discovery scanner, which is not really something for combat. I hope I can remember all this. Wow. I can't have the interdictor. I've got no pulse lasers here, do I? So let's put the advanced discovery scanner on two and give me the interdictor on one. 
I suppose I could put it there just for consistency basis. This looks mad. But, as I said, we're going to be testing the weapons in the field and see how much power I can, I've got, how, m how much time I can fire these uh, lasers for. Um, and then I'll decide whether, I, whether Fire Group 1 is even something I should even be looking at. Because I don't know how long that's going to last on a B-rated power plant with a it's got an A rated distributor so I suppose that's what counts right my power distributor is uh, is the full deal A8 shall we go oh what's my final jump range by the way I've got no cargo so my jump range is 18.1 okay Let's go. Tumble Darius is the goal and it's only 17 away so we should get there in a jump. Now, to get to the hazardous I think I need to be heading towards Robert's Enterprise. I know I said it was the third moon but I think the third moon is, third planet sorry, is a high res and this is where the hazardous one is and I want to be in a high or standard or low res anything that's not hazardous uh, how did it work out two jumps then if my jump range is 18.1 and that's only 17 away come on no, just have my fucking ship, ship there. Engines engaged. Seventeen point six eight. Oh, I know. Does this does this number here take into account when you have fuel on board? I haven't got a full a full tank of fuel because the fuel tank I fitted, I didn't I didn't refill it. I don't need to at the moment. I'm saving a bit of weight. I don't understand why it's taking uh, two jumps to do that. Hmm. Maybe it's... Maybe that doesn't count towards the fuel. Okay, so as I'm just zooming away here, before we make the jump, I will let you know that this build just fire the laptop up again. It's hibernated. Go on Windows. Okay, so this build gives me uh, a maximum speed of 203. Well, as you can see I'm at 204 so I'll let you off with that one. According to this, my maximum boost speed will be 271. Yep, bang on. My damage per second is 29, that's pretty good. My armour is 2445. Okay, so if I lose my shields, I've still got plenty of time to get the hell out of there, in other words or fight a bit longer. Um, what else? Shields are 882 megajoules, not the best in the world. Jump range 18.5 according to this. A maximum of 8 jumps before I run out of fuel. Ah, here we go. Jump range on a full tank 17.7. .7. So if I was running on fumes, if I was running on empty, on close to empty, I probably could have got there in two jumps. One jump. Blah. One jump. Okay, so we are now outside of the fire zone. This is... Right, this is mad. 
power plant capacity exceeded. This is mad, all these lasers. It can't even fit all the writing in. I did see a build where somebody had built a, an anaconda. Um, and every weapon was, a, I think, either a railgun or a plasma. It must have been a railgun. And it was like, no matter what ship he came against, it was a one-shot kill. One shot, and the, the just ship just gone. Zero. Zero percent. They've got quite some convergence there. I should have timed it, shouldn't I? What we got there? About ten seconds, maybe? And the recharge rate isn't too bad. I'm going to time it this time. Okay, and nine seconds. Nine. Okay, on here, now I can fire these bottom three and another bottom four there. So, okay, so the big lasers are these. They look like they're going to keep going for a long time. Okay, so they're going to go for a long time. That's the same as on the Python then, those three. And then we've got these four, which I could... They're just going to go forever. Okay, they're not going to run out until I add these, and then I can just stop and hold the bar there. I can just hold it right there. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to fire the cannons. So we know what the three is like. We know what the four is like. Uh, this is for the hatch breaker. That's for the kill warrant scanner. Kill warrant scanner should have been first, actually. But at least, I, as long as I know it's on six, it means oh, it should have been last. Because then I could have gone from here and just gone back one. So it's back two for the kill scan, and then forwards again for whatever fire group I need. Okay, I'm just going to pause the video while I bring Verity online. <coughs> Hello, Verity. Greetings. Alrighty. Charging. I'll tell you what, the way that anaconda just moved there, what a difference to what it used to be as a trade ship. Wow, that was a lot faster. That's the difference between D7 and A8. Is it A8 thrusters or A7 thrusters? Right, let's have a look at the old Scoopy. Fuel scooping. I'm not going to scoop it all. I just want to see where we are. around until the system comes into into view. All the time I didn't wait to the ship. There it is. Now the fact that that Timbalderis target reticule appears in front of the nose is not wrong. I've seen a few people say that that's not correct, or it's a bug, but it's not. You have to think of it as appearing on the windshield, or the windscreen. It's your heads-up display, it's not something that is actually projected into space. And my cooling rate, 32, 32 is not bad. <coughs> charging. Oh, how are we going to manage? 
be on the kill scanner first, don't we? I could have gone mad and had another kill warrant scanner fire group, but with the other four lasers. Oh, I need to throttle. Seven fire groups. Admittedly, they're for the other modules. If I if I had um, fire groups for for the um, heat sinks and the uh, chaff launchers, it would be even worse. Fuel scooping. But I never do. I always have them on keys. Okay, so let's take a quick look out. We're just looking for. We've got a high one there. I think that would probably be the one I would go for. Oops, a bit too soon. And let's have a look now. So we've got a high conflict zone, no chance. I'm not going in there straight away. So let's pop into the low. There's the two hazardous ones next to Roberts. But I just want to pop into the low first and just ease myself into this. Uh, I'll tell you what I haven't looked at. The rebuy cost because I think this ship now will become the most expensive ship over the uh, cutter, I believe. Although I don't know. And if the rebuy cost is more than 9.4 million, then it beats the cutter. There you go. 11 million. So I can rebuy this ship a few times with relative consummate ease. Let's turn off these rings. Yes, I admit a little bit of trepidation. But it should be fun as long as I pick my fights okay and I don't hit clean ships. And stuff like that. So, here we are. Combat Conda and a Cutter trade. And 600 mil. That's not too bad, I don't think. I think I've earned that. I want to try com coming down roughly vertical and dropping in fairly late. Late enough that I'm not going to use Verity because she she delays it too long. Oh, <laughs> I was just going to say the first three ships I pick up they're all cops. Okay, I'm going to put the lights on for no particular reason because the nose is all the way over there and I can easily see the uh, asteroids. Uh, all right. Scan detected. Deploy weapons. Hard points. Power plant capacity exceeded. Right, who, who scanned me then? Uh, it doesn't say yet. Oh, it must have been the cop. Okay, let's see what we got. Now my kill scan's out of range, but that doesn't matter. Oh, don't tell me a bloody sidewinder. Sidewinder, it'll... I mean, even my cutter, uh, which is shieldless and everything, I took on a, a, an eagle um, last night, and it, it lasted no more than probably two seconds before the eagle was gone. Instance at the moment. Let's head a bit more towards the actual. Uh, it does, yeah, it does say low. I know. Maybe I need to come out of here and go to a high one. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm in the blue. Let's pull this around. That's not bad. 
What a difference to the uh, to the trade anaconda. Pfft. Wow. Okay, and taking off uh, flight assist. Flight assist off. And boosting it. Flight assist off. And the inertia, and the inertia, and the inertia. It's there, but it's not as. God, it is there. It's not as bad as the um, cutter. I'm not going to say bad. It's not as much as the cutter. Let's get the hell out of here. This is ridiculous. Retract weapons. Stowing weapons. Uh, let her. Super cruise. Super cruise. Engaging cruise. Drive charging. Left panel. I'm not going to build this ship and then sit here and take on bloody sidewinders and eagles. Oh shit. <laughs> Hatchbreaker out of ammo. Yes, I should have got that. I'm not I don't need it for now, but I don't have any intentions of using it here. I could have though. System map. System map. Ah, my power's dropped. Yeah, there's no... I, oh yes, I can land here. Levi Montalcini. Okay. into this video now but uh, we are finally gonna get there come on ship speed up eleven rebuy that's not a bad that's not a bad rebuy is it eleven point two million it's gonna go up considerably once I uh, well <sighs> I was gonna say once I put the the big power plant and the proper shields on, but I might not get to that point. It might be already 2.1 beta might be already in, and I'll be getting the um, the Corvette before I earn the money to get the you know the big stuff. So I don't know. Oh come on, get down there before it passes me. It's not on a dark side. That's not a place you want to trial something like this. A new ship. Well, I'll let Verity do this one. I haven't used my William Shatner um, voice pack. I can switch over which is with my voice. But I don't have all the commands programmed in. Disengage. Frameshift drive disengaging. Deploy weapons. Deploying and readying weapon capacity. That's just so I can get my kill warrants gun already. 
do me a favour? Okay, it's wanted, let's do it. I'm only going to use these three lasers though. Kill scan. What? Oh, of course it's programmed for the uh, stop scan. So there's no cannon uh, involved in any of this yet. Um, I'm worried about the scanner being stuck on. Stop scan. Acknowledged. Yeah, take my weapons down, don't you? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Destroyed. Oh, admittedly, there wasn't much left of him. Oh my god, should we try... Let's just forget the, the uh, scanner for now, because it's programmed for the Viper. For the Python, sorry, which means it, it flicks back on one of my... Uh, on one of my... fire groups to do it. So I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna kill scan this. You son of a son of a. I don't know he's going to get a chance to face me. I'd never want to be head on with one of these things. That's not bad for bi-weaves, considering I let him face me for a long time. I did use a cannon, but I don't think I got him. See, this is the problem with the cannon, is it's... The, the circle for the cannon is high up, because you have to, you have to bring the nose up, you see. Um, and of course, you can't really be firing your weapons too accurately when you do that. Oh, let's take on an elite sidewinder, shall we? If he's, uh, if he's dirty. Yeah, let's see how these pulse lasers react to this thing. I want to get within about one and a half, one to one and a half kilometers. Hopefully by the time he chaffs, if he does, it's too late. I can see when I'm outmatched. When did he get to type that in? Don't cross the beams. No, I'm not going to. 
sidewinders. The only reason I'll take one out is in case it might make another ship spawn. Oh, he's clean. The Type 9s are going to be clean as well, so... How far away are we? 6k. I wonder if I can say... Next fire group. Next fire group. Oh, cool. Executing silent running routines. Life support system reserved. Sorry, excuse me, what and where? What, what, what did you just say? Getting very good instances here, am I? Boost. Afterburners. <sighs> yeah, they, you've really been sent to test me. See, not all the lasers fire at the same time because you you have to be perfectly positioned, and that might be Target easier with destroyed. a with a bigger ship, maybe, that they can't move so fast like another anaconda. Shield priority. Target. Locking target. Oh, somebody's on him. It's a wing. It's got to be. Look at all that firepower. It, there's got to be a wing on this guy. Who do I pick? And where the hell are they? Power to weapons. Max weapons. I told you, it's a wing. be in a good position where I can take, uh, where I can make all the lasers fire at the same time. Type 9 do. Well, that was a bloody stupid thing to do, wasn't it? Come on, scan him. Can't believe you let him get away because it was it took so long to scan. Well, die then. Target destroyed. Somebody's still giving that Type 9 some 
Wasser. Okay, you're done. He's got his shields back up and he's only down to 60 something. But he looks to be safe now. Good. Good, I'll leave you to it then. Any more trouble, give me a shout. Now, where was that fight before? I missed it, I bet. There was another one going on somewhere. And I missed it. Okay, well, so far so good then. Ish. Boost. Afterburners. 100%. 100%. And... Engine sh... Uh, what was it now? 2-1? Done. Yeah, but what was the other words for it? Engine priority shields. That was it. Done. Yeah, you said. Now the Type 6s are all likely to be clean. Yeah, he's mining. Let's get him on the uh, scanner. Okay, that's done. Oh God, this is going to be interesting if he's a if he's a dirty if he's a dirty one, and if he's on his own, and it's a vicar. Oh my God, elite anaconda! Are you kidding me? Oh God. Well, this is the test of tests, I suppose. In terms of PBE. What's this guy worth? 344. Now I need to be in the right position, at the right distance. Weapon priority. Uh, no, I'm going to change that. Weapon priority shields. What's he carrying? I don't even want to know. Frag cannons and stuff like that. Yes, my heart's a little bit poundy here. This is where I need my cannon, really. Yeah, you can chaff, mate, but I look where I am. I'm right close to you. sake of me uh, getting the cannon done. I'm going to bring a shield cell bank on as well. See what that does. Can't believe we're going face to face here. That power plant is disappearing. Well, that was close. Right, let's test this cannon out. What's he on? 50%. 49! Seriously! OK, 
I'm going to untarget the ship and retarget so I'm not targeting the power plant. There we go, 7% now. Let's shoot another one. Okay, let's go back to lasers. Takes a while to die, this bastard. No? Even on 1%? What's going on? Target destroyed. Jesus, another one. Priority. Target power plant. Bring it on. He's gone already. Weapon priority shields. Yeah, sometimes I press the wrong key, I go up the fire groups instead of down. And then I miss my opportunity to open fire. Yeah, you like Ooh! Target power plant. I think the cannon's proving to be fairly useless. So I might stick another laser on there and stick it on the on the first group here where the three lasers are. Just have one extra pulse laser. I'll get more use out of it than I will a cannon. Shite, I haven't got any boots left. 100%. Thrusters, 100%. Weapon priority, engines. Weapon priority with engines confirmed. Damn, I'll just ram him. Shield priority engines. Boost. After burners, maxing engines. So, yeah, we're kind of doing okay. We haven't lost shields yet, although we've come pretty close. But don't forget, I do have a massive amount of armor, so I feel okay another fed scan I 
how far away are we from the actual point. Let's get a bit closer, see if we can find another couple of uh, bad guys and then we'll end it for this video. I don't want to keep it going on for too long. So we've made six, seven hundred... Am I hitting a meteor? So what have we got there? <coughs> Uh, four, call it 450, 550, 650, call that uh, 700, 860,000. Should we stay here and get, get the million? It's a bit slower than trading, but it's more fun. <coughs> but by now, in trading, I would have made another 9 million. Maybe 6. Maybe six million. On my way to the ninth. Uh, okay, this will be interesting. Engine priority. Oh, that's the same thing, isn't it? Boost. Engine priority weapons. I believe I've lost him. Boost. Afterburners, maxing engines. Okay, I need to be on primary six. Kill scan this guy. And weapon priority. Weapon priority. Target power plant. Not that I needed to, of course. Let's just have a little bit of a pause there. Uh, the overhead pass, that was a bit smart. Deliberate ramming. Everything's happening here. Bye bye. <laughs> Target destroyed. I wanted to ram him just to finish him off. Actually, these by weaves, you know, I know they they went down nearly to the end, but I was head on with a Federal assault ship and an elite anaconda. So in the main, yeah, not too bad. Reset systems. No, I don't know what I don't know what the command is to do that actually. Do you know what? It might not be fully a rated this thing, but I like it. It's only the power plant that's not aerated, and it doesn't need to be because it's got enough power for the systems it has on board. So, oh, clipper. So I'm kind of okay with it, you know. Oh, he hasn't got any shields. Where's the fun in that? I suppose I better just use my primary six now. I don't want to. I don't want to kill him too soon because I need the, the scans are complete. Oh, I'm in a good position here. Okay, switch to two now. See, I'm going to have to fiddle with these fire groups. So I, the two that I use most are closest together. Yeah, come on, bring it on. This is not a good idea, Mr. Clipper. Yeah, you, you took a good shield ring and that of mine, but uh, you didn't do so well yourself on that one. Go on, I'll let you keep firing. You 
because I know with the buy leaves I don't have to wait six years for the shields to come back online. Target destroyed. Right, can we do a, a shield cell bank? Let's see. Warning, temperature critical. Warning, taking heat damage. That's okay. Oh wow, we've got a, a pretty much almost uh, a whole ring. The problem with not having them on a on a uh, on a fire group is I don't know how many I've got left. <laughs> Does it tell me in here? Does it? Uh, yeah. Uh, what are we looking at? Shield cell bank. Have I passed it? Ten or twenty thousand away, aren't we, from a million? Shield priority weapons. That's how screwed up my head is. Shield priority engines. Shield priority engines. something there. <sighs> Don't tell me. Poxy eagles. They're not even worth scanning. Kill scanning. They're not even worth it. Because it's like pennies. got the shields back up. I'm not going to use another shield cell back. Who's the protagonist here? He's gone. Target destroyed. Well, for a big eye anaconda, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Before we go, retract weapons. Retracting all weapons. Let's make what possibly might be the mistake but it's got to be done sometime. Um, of course, I am still mass locked. Frameship drive charging. And why have I gone to the system Four, map? Three, two, I'm surprised my one, ship's still in one piece with how scatterbrained my head is at the moment. So let's pop into the Haz and pick off a couple of ships there and then we'll call this video done. Um, so yeah, forget these two. So 287, let's call these two together, 300,010, so 300,000, 556. Uh, 556, 6, 600, yeah, a million, that's it. One million, one million and eighty thousand or something. So yeah, it's it's not obviously as quick as trading in the cutter or such like, but um, I have to do that another 142 times <laughs> if I want the full shields on this thing. The shields I'm fine with. The power plant is, you know, 
all the power plant's going to do is mean I don't I don't have to put anything um, at priority two. That's all it's going to do, and it'll allow me to it'll allow me to put the big shields on. But as of right now, the biweaves are performing well. When you consider that I only that the ship is worth three hundred and nine. I don't know how much it's worth. <laughs> I don't know. My brain's stopping. Um, I'll get back to you on it. Once my brain decides to actually switch on. I must be flying on instinct. Yes, the ship is worth 307 million. That's what it's worth, according to Coriolis. This, this, this loadout is 307 million, 478,000. So, 307 and a half million for this loadout. And as you know, you, this can be taken. I could double this. I could easily do a build on this ship that's about 600,000, I think, using plasmas and all sorts of stuff. Great big class 7 thingamajigs and doobries and what's it's. Okay, so there will be no security ships here. And it looks a little bit darker on this side as well. I don't want to face the other way. This is where you need the A-rated sensors, because those blibs might have come in by now. Vulture will be interesting because, because it's a fast ship, but that looks like a wing of three that's just gone past me and taken one of my shield rings off the bastards. Two asps in a wing with a vulture. Scan detected. What the hell makes you want to do that? Hmm? Power plant capacity exceeded. He didn't even dent my shields there. They were already at two rings gone. And he's not winged, he's on his own, this guy. And I'm facing the wrong way in relation to him. I knew you were going to do that, you chaffing bastard. So these small ships, it's more effective at a lot closer range. Target shields offline. I'm not going to target the power plant. It's too small a target at this range. That's why I didn't want to boost because if he does, I've lost him. Good opportunity I had there. See, your nose has got to be right on in there like that for all the weapons to be hitting him. And while I've been taking care of him, my shields have built Target back up again. Destroyed. Handy how that works, isn't it? I can't do much more of this now, my, my head is just saying enough. Scan detected. Oh crap. <laughs> Kinda want to avoid those things, they're a bit solid. Come on, I want to get this python here. Okey-doke. 
That's not Hello. bad. I did that without any pips to, to weapons. How cool. Warning. Yeah, well I've got a point defence darling, so it, it'll take care of it. Enjoy the rapture. Apparently everybody's gone there. I might go there too. Why did you chop now? I'm trying to kill scan you, you bastard. So close now that I think his chap just doesn't matter. Am I under attack? Oui. Ooh, I'm gonna ram him. Target destroyed. That could have gone better. Fifty percent. Understood. Fifty percent. I know I haven't been bringing you into this much rarity. Weapon priority. Weapon priority shields. Never mind. Target destroyed. Yes, we're getting it fairly not bad. I'm at 18 kilometers, oh, 10 kilometers away, sorry. And uh, yeah, there's quite a few uh, out here. Anybody we don't have. Yeah, we don't have it yet, we do now. Uh, just whipping through the same ships now. Boost. Afterburners.
boost. Afterburners. The inertia on this thing, it just carries it downwards for quite a while and in the vicinity of asteroids, not good. Last volley? No. Could have been. Should we go out with an anaconda? Captain Ice Bun. <laughs> Whoa, fear the ice. Now I should take out his wing guy first, I suppose. Uh, unless, of course, it's a python. No, it's not. Let's take this guy down. Gotta get this guy. Doesn't really matter who he's winged with now, does it? I don't know if it might have been the courier or that. Uh, I was going to say there's another Federal Assault ship, but the bloody Anaconda enticing me away. If I use voice commands for... what bloody group am I in? If I use voice commands for this, for doing the kill scan and stuff, it would be better. And I don't have to remember which group to go to, to or not remember, I know I know which group to go to. But I wouldn't have to flick around for it. That's what I mean. I'll just prepare 
we know about time. Now I'm in the wrong position. Oh, come on. Leave some for me, man. the last dance for me. Now, getting behind and staying behind these assault ships is very, very tricky. So I'm going to come in from behind. Oh, he's, I can't believe it. I opened fire when he charged. That was a shipment. Now he's running the same thing. I'll have to give him everything. Oh, I missed him. I was going to just kill him off by just ramming him. Do I get it? Yeah. Target destroyed. Normally you wouldn't see me sitting head to head with these things, but uh, in an anaconda I feel a little bit safer. Especially as the hull hasn't even been tested yet. Well, you're going to be begging for mercy in a minute. Some good, uh, some good payback from his uh, from his boyfriend here. Two asps, no problem. I don't know what he's winged with. It could be two more pythons for all I know. I could just take him down and then get the hell out, I suppose. Target shields offline. I don't have any more boost left. So this might be a crap idea. his other wingman is because he must have lost another one. He's not going to be happy with me. Wow, there's a lot of ships here at the moment. Basically, Destroyed. just free money. Okay. Dwayne Hicks. Well, used to be a country singer, now he's a pirate. Hi, Dwayne. Bad way. Target destroyed. Good night, y'all. 
Now, a couple of ships I've been taking out recently have been winged with other ships. Was was Dwayne... Uh, well, the Python was winged. I'm guessing they're all gone now. Let's do this guy in. And there's his fellow bedmate. Sidewinder. Oh god, I'm in trouble now. Oh no, I seem to be okay. Anything? No. There's a fight over there, not interested. Let's go and cash this in and also uh, rearm the stuff that I forgot to rearm. My hatch breakers. When I left um, Shinra to Desert. <coughs> so I've used one chaff, Four, no heat three, sinks, two, one, uh, two shield cell banks, I think. And the by weaves never dropped off at all in this particular instance. Even though I did face an elite condor at one point and what was it, a federal assault ship head on? They're dead. Horrible ships to face dead on. <coughs> you need a, a corvette or even something, you know, beefy to just be going face to face with it. I wouldn't mind a federal assault ship, you know, as another combat ship, just to have one in the middle. Vulture at the lower end, even though it's a very, very, very capable ship. Uh, so it's not really lower end. I'm talking about lower end in terms of size, not necessarily its ability. Um, so yeah, Vulture, a Federal Assault ship in the middle, and then the Anaconda at the at the top, in terms of ship size and hard points and stuff. That'd be a nice thing. And of course, the the, the Python's pretty. Uh, competent but it's more multi-purpose really it just happens to be able to defend itself very well because it's fully that is fully a rated as is the vulture and of course I would if I do get a federal assault ship um, that also will get fully A rated but I've got to put aside about 80 90 million I suppose for that at a guess to fully A rate it is it 80 90 million I don't know I reckon it's something along those lines I seem to remember doing one on Coriolis.io at one point so I think this ship has done pretty well I'm definitely happy considering how it's performed compared to how much money I spent on it, which turned out to be what? What did I have before? 650 something? 654 was it? I don't know. Well, we'll call it for the sake of rounding off numbers. Um, I spent 150. 750 sorry I spent 150 million 155 something like that on the ship I already had which was 133 we'll see now we'll see what what they think it's worth obviously um, when you come to sell your ship fully loaded if you don't if you don't part it out first you know you don't sell the modules first you're not going to get as much, you're going to lose money. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what, how they value this, this ship right now. So, unlike the cutter, I think I can boost twice here. Docking request granted. Only one boost needed in the cutter. So, engines on full. I 
should have boosted again, to be honest. And then what I like to do is let the throttle go down into the blue zone on its own. And once it's there, I just do this, I just feather the throttle like this. Just pumping it, keeping it in the blue on the small thrusters. And there's my launch pad on my landing pad. And I actually managed to get the gear out before she told me. And inertia takes over. Yes, yes, don't worry, I'll be out the way. Okay. Dogging successful. Engines disengaged. That is dogging successful, isn't it? Well, I'm pleased to hear it. So let's have a look. Uh, let's say I'm going to buy this ship. So yeah, 268. So it's probably going to cost to buy um, more, well, obviously more than that. I don't know how much you lose here. Is it tw is it ten percent? So if you add twenty six onto that, call it thirty. Yeah, just under three hundred million. Uh, and of course, Coriolis says three oh nine. So yeah, it's around that. Three budget for three hundred million, and uh, you'll be able to get a ship like this. And I do not want to purchase a Sidewinder. Now then, I've probably got, because I use my kill warrant, I've got bounties in the Federation, I've got a, I've got a million there, and I've got 800,000, I've got 2.2 2 .2 million there, no more, no, uh, it's about, about two and a half maybe, let's see how many I can cash in here, um, oh, all of it looks like, yeah, 2.2. Can we call that 2.5 million? Just, uh, yeah, two and a half million. Have I got any left over? Yeah, so there we go. Two and a half million in however long that took. Right. Um, and my combat rank's gone up 1%. <laughs> Brilliant, eh? I think it was 48 before. Um, okay. I think that concludes this video. And um, where from here? I don't know. I don't know. Probably I'll do a bit more combat in this and then um, I might do a bit more uh, trading or whatever um, to get my credits built up a little bit more again. Uh, yeah. Yep. I'm happy with the decision I made at the in the end. <coughs> I don't think I've got any here. Have I? No. So I'm going to be going back out to the extraction sites a bit later on today. Not right now, though. I'm going to be doing something else. Mind your speed and your surroundings. Avoid yeah, this has got... Uh, I think there's more than two highs here, though. There's a couple... Obviously, I've just been in the has one, so there's two hazardous ones. There's a low one that we know of and two highs. And there's also conflict zones in Timbalderis. So, if you want combat um, and your home is anywhere near Shunrata Desra, then come here because everything's here um, there is if you have a large ship then you can land it it's not just um, platforms it, it's just missing a compromise nav beacon if it had that it would have everything wouldn't it where is the nav beacon itself though is, does it have one did I miss it Anyway, all right, just time wasting now. All right then, so thanks for watching this video, and uh, 
I don't know what my next one's going to be or what progress I'll have made. I have no idea where I'm going from here because the goals I set myself um, over the last few weeks I have now achieved. So, yeah, let's see where I go from here. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.